Hello rock people, this is Dave the Geology Dude. I'm trying to learn how to use a camera this year to take 360 degree or three dimensional video photography. Sometimes it's called virtual reality. If you've seen my videos of slowly spinning rocks, it is from this new type of media. Today I'm featuring a 14 foot diameter cedar tree. It is from my state of Washington. No doubt this type of photography is amazing when it works. Perhaps more amazing, the software I'm using is designed for product photography. Basically, it's meant for 360 degree pictures of bracelets, watches, beauty products, and hamburgers. So a log that's one and a half to two times wider than a tractor trailer truck on the highway is pushing the boundaries of the software a bit. But this is the future of videography, and this will be used for large scale items in the future. When I showed this example to a professional photographer, his immediate reaction was, why should he go out and take pictures tomorrow when everything he will do will be made obsolete by this media. It is amazing that this software will work reasonably well for many things, but to make very good pictures it requires additional professional equipment. It also requires understanding the software and designing equipment and strategies for a successful outcome. So definitely some time and money is involved beyond simply buying software. The software also can be finicky. There are definite limitations and weaknesses, especially when pushing the boundaries. Many common items absolutely do not work with this media. After about five months, nearly half my attempts on non-standard items still do not work. But when I first started, most of my attempts did not work at all. Sometimes I can recover things to get a reasonable result from a failed scan. But as the software improves, hopefully things will not be as problematic. Anyway, continue to expect geology-oriented things from me in the future. But occasionally, I may share interesting 14-foot diameter tidbits too. I had to learn what does and does not work with this media. To learn, I had to try things that I knew would definitely fail, but this gave me insight about how to do things better, and hopefully I can apply this to geology outdoors.